to the two people who thought that this would be a useful thing in their house. Wait, I think I'm being optimistic. Hello to the half a person who thought that this would be a useful thing to have in their house. <laughs> um, not really a channel, not a person who does videos much or anything, but I thought of this little thing and thought it might be kind of cool to share with people. Especially since the heat waves rolling in in the UK. Well, the heat wave is not the first one this year. Global warming, yay! Basically, tiny. Not. Mm, it's not even a DIY, really, is it? It's it's just the smallest amount of effort for the smallest amount of convenience. But I thought I was being clever, so here I am. So all we're really doing here is emulating something that is very normal in like Europe and the States but sort of turning it into a more renter friendly portable object. Obviously, you know, as the description says, we're doing a mosquito netting arrangement. A particularly big problem have been wasps lately. We had I think three just yesterday and I don't love having to deal with that. I'm terrified of them. As I said, not really even a DIY. It is so simple. We have some netting over here. It's not the exact type of netting that they would use on permanent window fixtures that are anti-insect. It is a lot more stretchy and the holes are a lot larger, but it would still be enough to deter most of the things that would try to get in. I think I got this in a kit that you use to attach this onto the window itself with velcro and like self-adhesive tape. However, that would look awful and you would need to constantly like unstick the velcro and stick it back because windows just need to be opened and closed and just I, I don't love that solution. Self-adhesive tape onto windows in a rental, that is a lot of variables that could go very wrong. It's sometimes so hard to get sticky stuff off windows. So this is our first item. We also have scissors. We have a staple gun, which I should probably take out of its packaging because it looks dumb to show a box. So a staple gun. And the main thing, canvas frames. Of course, they don't have to be canvas frames. They might be picture frames. They might be, well, whatever rectangular or square arrangement you have. Um, hopefully wood, because they do need the, the staples. I don't think that trying to use the self-adhesive Velcro on these and then attach that to the frames with it would be a very good idea. It's, it's messy, it's unnecessary, and honestly, I feel like it might be actually easier to remove staples than remove whatever that stuff is. These are canvas frames, so as an example of, you know, a terrible watercolor I did years ago, um, it's, so it's, it's this bit that a canvas is normally stretched over. It's also where the to note that this is not a universal solution. Different types of windows will obviously need different situations that will fit them. Uh, this specifically is the perfect solution for what we have here, which is, I believe, a sliding sash window. The types that sort of just go upwards. So this will be suitable for probably more than just the sliding sash. Any sort of sliding windows, probably but not all of them. And it will particularly be unfortunately unsuitable for windows where it's like a large bay window and only the top part opens. So that is something to keep in mind. I'm sorry, I cannot offer a solution that will work for everyone. <sighs> so my camera died because I am clearly a professional. So here we are. It is the next day because the light was Please stop, uh, because the light was also going, and I have realized that we're going to be very makeshift with this, because obviously I have no actual idea what I'm doing. So I have no workspace, I don't have like 
a workbench or a real desk even. So my choices are bed or chest of drawers, which is rather large, but I'm really not sure whether it will work very well, but then it is a solid surface, which might be necessary to properly use the staple gun. So we're going to try a couple of things and see how that goes. Welcome to the bed over here. We have our frame and I have my piece of goth bride veil. I think it needs to be fairly taut, but it doesn't need to be too stretchy. So I think I will start with the middle, so I have a chance to stretch it in whichever direction I need. God help me. It worked! Very weird material to work with, so obviously it's a little bit strange. But it does work. I'm so happy. By the way, as the title card at the beginning suggested, I found these frames in the garbage. Not literal garbage, mind you, but you know how people sometimes leave stuff in the street outside their houses so others can pick it up for free? Well, that is one of my favourite things, and some of my favourite finds as well, because it provides a creative challenge you don't get when you hand-pick every last item. I have many other things waiting their turn to be upcycled, and obviously, these specific frames have been stained. I had a short-lived obsession with wood stain a while ago and many things are now walnut coloured in the flat. Here I already started doing the second frame but had an idea that would improve longevity so I decided to check in and share. So I've got a little scrap felt which I am just using as a protection for the mesh from the staples. So I decide where I want the staple to go. I cut off a tiny little bit of felt and then nothing happens because I think I'm out of staples. Yep, I'm out of staples. Great. Nice talking to y'all. So I've had help putting some staples in because as I said previously, I clearly know what I'm doing. So let's try that again. How the fuck did I do this the first time? So we have our position and our piece of felt. Yes, it worked. Now with reinvigorated confidence, which may be undeserved. Yay, and I didn't even staple my finger to it. And this is pretty much the whole process. You just need to trim any excess mesh Super easy, if you can remember how to reload your staple gun. You can decorate your mosquito screens, of course, but I'm currently redecorating the flat and wouldn't want to put the cart before the horse, so to speak. Perhaps there will be a follow-up video one day. So, now that I have both of my babies made, so with the second one, I have put little bits of felt into the corners which I believe actually really makes a difference to how long it will last. It doesn't have to be felt, just any sort of fairly thick fabric because obviously this is extremely fine. So this is how it turned out. There's no light blockage even though I used the black mesh and it just, it sits fine. Of course, it's specifically this type of window that works best for these purposes. Of course, there are some small gaps around, but it will do great at blocking out the majority of insects that want to come in. And we've really been having a bit of a wasp or two a day situation. So what have we learned today? I believe I have learned that Trying to do even not really DIYs in a very hot room in a 30 something degree day with the window closed and the fan off is, is not a great idea. Oh god, there's another wasp right now outside. I guess that will be a test. Really hope it doesn't get in. I've already had one in here today. However, going back to it also, apparently memory foam is a completely suitable work surface for a staple gun. 
I've also technically learned how to reload a staple gun, but I feel like that is not exactly an achievement and I really am not proud of myself. Here's to being super DIY professionals. Thank you for having me. I would like to be able to sort of fade into the background right now. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Staple gun, Staple gun, come to me. Hello, this is David Mitchell. <laughs> Vampire. How do I stop sounding like a twat? Put on an accent. That's the only one I can put on. <laughs> My advice would be don't think about it too much. Haha. -ha. Yes, not <laughs> thinking about things is definitely my superpower. Okay. Oh god, fuck off. Um, no, I'm talking to the voice, not the <laughs> voice. <laughs> You're talking to the voice. Yes, I'm talking to the voices. What are you doing? I'm trying not to make eye contact because it will put you off. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> You're sort of staring very somberly over my shoulder. 